Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Another episode of Trash Talk. I'm Damian Hill. With me, as always, is TJ O'Connor. Tonight, we have Noah Landris, who's getting ready to defend his 155-pound driller title going down March 7th in Austin, Minnesota. Trash Talk is brought to you again by Valhalla Combat Sports Incorporated, Ink String Statue out in New Brighton, Minnesota, Spartan Martial Arts, James Clark Sports Psychology and Hypnosis Therapy, Origin Wellness CBD, The Fighters, and TJ's Mom. How are you doing tonight, Noah? Good. How are you guys? Doing good, man. Yeah. I, I, I probably sound like a broken record, as TJ would say, but I'm really appreciative every time that we can get a fight with the guy during fight week, especially yeah. with all the preparations that go into it and everything. So I'd just like to take the time right now to thank you right off the bat. And, yeah, yeah how how's it feel? Uh, I mean, how are you feeling right now wrapping, uh, wrapping things up just a, a few days out from the fight, actually? Uh, you know, I, f- I feel really good. Like, my weight cut's been perfect and everything. Training's been perfect. No injuries or nothing like that. So, feeling good. Hell, yeah. So, There's got to yeah. be going into a fight. When there are no injuries, no lingering things, nothing that's bothering you, you know. I mean, and it's, especially going against a guy uh, as tough as Davey Young. Uh, tell me what you know about him a little bit and, uh, uh, I guess, how you think your styles match up. Uh. I know he's super, you know, I watched some of his fights and stuff, and I've seen him around. I know he's super explosive, and he's going to be a lot faster than me for sure and more explosive, but um, I don't know, man. I'm excited. I'm just excited to test myself against him. So I know he's, like, you know, he's probably better than me in every way, like stand-up for sure, but, um, you know, it's going to be fun for sure. Man, well, you never know. You you never know, dude. And like one yeah. of the things that I that I always loved about you is the fact like what you're saying right now, and then you're yeah. saying, oh, we'll take the fight like with no hesitation. Like, oh, he might be faster, he might be more explosive, but I'm gonna go fight him. Like, yeah. <laughs> dude, that's a warrior spirit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't have a question. That was just I I yeah. admire. I've always been a fan of people like that and a fan of you, so I I love that. Yeah, I've been the most athletic most uh athletic person so i kind of you know always had to deal with that like wrestling and stuff too so I'm yeah sure, uh, so. i would i'd say you you've made you've made great strides with it i mean your hard work definitely shows through and you've been successful on the mats and and in the cage here as well um th- this is a great fight uh we've been talking about this one forever damien and i have been more than excited the fact that we're just a couple days away now yeah. uh i mean i know how i'm feeling i can only imagine how you're feeling here you won the belt last May, and then you had the LFA fight. This is going to be your actual first title defense. Um, what what has camp been like, preparation been like, preparing for this fight, preparing for an explosive wrestler like yourself in Davey? Uh, it's been long, you know. Like, uh, I took, you know, like a couple weeks off from after that fight with Yama or whatever, but I've been, you know, sticking to the grind and stuff. So, uh it's been good. Uh, just, you know, my teammates helping me out. I'm learning a lot of new stuff. So I just feel like I've, I've gotten a lot smarter, like as a fighter and like, just learned a lot more things. So I'm, I'm excited, like stand up and everything. So. Oh yeah. Well, I'm, I'm excited to hear that too, because we've actually had the chance to speak with Davey in the past. And one of the things that he was mentioning is that you had fought a few of his teammates previously and you beat them. So that's not, necessarily a rivalry but it's its own right. rivalry, you know what i mean yeah uh what type of changes have you made in preparations for this fight and i mean if you're willing to speak on it and everything yeah. because uh he did fight two of your or does train with two of your previous opponents and usually when that happens they usually i mean there's something that reveals itself in the fight that you don't actually get in practice and things. And guys he's been training with have got to see what it's like to be inside the cage with you live. Do you feel like that is going to make him feel a little bit more confident going into this fight? And also, you spoke on the improvements that you made. What type of changes have you made that could potentially throw him off in this fight? Um, you know, I just feel like uh, my stand-up has come a long way. I didn't, I didn't have a ton of it like uh experience wise but i got i feel like in my last fight i was i was, we were on the feet a little bit too yep. like i didn't i didn't just try to go in there and take him down every 
round, you know, like I made sure I got the takedown at the end of the round and stuff like that, but that's just game plan stuff. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel, so I feel like I've gotten a lot better on my feet and just like worked on a lot of movement and leg checks and stuff like that. So, yeah, <laughs> well, I'm uh, definitely glad to hear that you're checking kicks now. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause, that yeah, is. that shit hurts. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it don't it don't really hurt in there, but you know, like, oh. the next day I was like, "Fuck." But, uh, yeah, I think everybody that's took a leg kick knows that the next day yeah. is when you're waking up, you limping. You're like, "I need some crutches." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, oh man, uh, actually, I I, I was I'm kind of curious to know. Uh, like I I know the leg kick set in a little bit more. Uh, the next day but did you feel him in the fight at all and uh do you feel like it took away from your uh i don't know your explosiveness when you were trying to get, go for the takedown because me and tj both loved the way that you grind you know because you were still able to get the takedowns but did you feel yeah. like it affected you at all in the fight um yeah it was de- i mean it was definitely good on his part you know he had but um not i don't want to sound like it but it didn't like hurt you know at the time like yeah yeah you know i just kept flowing with it i I didn't ever feel like i got really hit that you know like rocked or nothing like that so that felt good but uh i feel like i play his game plan a little more than i play my own just because i wanted to you know go on my feet longer and i just wanted to you know test myself and you know tell myself i can go on the feet with you know guys who like that's all they do so yeah <laughs> and, and i don't i've never done that so that was pretty that was that was fun for me to do that and not just you know wrestle the whole time so yeah dude I, that's why I, i'm a fan of yours that's why i love this fight game you yeah. know guys yeah. that are willing to go out there and challenge themselves now we've had the chance of speaking with angel Pacheco multiple times and me and tj are both huge fans of his stand-up <laughs> like working with him and uh get more preparation and sparring and things like that with him to become comfortable on your feet because like you said in the previous fight you were trying to show off that a little bit more uh and now i guess working with him a lot more how do you how are you feeling on your feet uh working with a guy like that uh, i feel a lot like just a lot more comfortable and like fluent and stuff like that like I, i've got a lot of sparring rounds in with him for this camp and stuff because he had his fight coming up and his guy was a wrestler so we were sparring a lot and stuff we're just working together a lot too so so yeah i've just been getting lots of good rounds in with uh good strikers like him and uh bobby lee and you know joey all those guys so it's been fun. yeah I mean, a bunch of monsters you just named and obviously the work and the improvement and anytime getting to work with angel he's He's such a consummate teammate where he likes going out of his way. And I, I don't yeah. like giving him too many compliments because it goes to his head a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But but Angel's a great guy. And coming back to the, this fight, I, I'm what I'm most excited about, obviously, I mean, and not to point out the elephant in the room, is going to be the style matchup in the wrestling department. I mean, yeah. you, you were a state champion excelled at you know and won during the highest lights he competed with you know one of the best teams in minnesota high school history you know and was in the race himself i think this is a great fight what i brought up to him is in my personal opinion i feel like this fight's going to be won or lost in the scrambles i, I want to see yeah. what you think about that and just overall what type of fight are you expecting on the saturday night march 7 yeah, no, I, I agree with that, too. I think a lot of it's important stuff is going to be, you know, like up close against the cage and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, ready for whatever, you know. I'll stay on my feet if I have to, you know, if I can't take them down. or But if I can take them down, you know, I'm going to do that. So we're just going <laughs> to roll with it, and I'm just going to listen to Brock and whatever he says, you know. So I trust him. So Yeah. Well, that, that's one of the things that I like, too, is that uh, you're training with the – High-level grappler Brock Larson, uh, head coach, and uh, so many high-level grapplers at that gym. I mean, and then you're working with guys that are explosive like Bobby Lee, have the experience stand-up like uh, Angel Pacheco, and then uh, countless other wrestlers at the gym, Tyler Matheson and things like yep. and people like that. Now, I feel like all of those guys have certain attributes that Davey possesses himself. So I definitely right. think that you're getting the, the right work in with those guys. What type of things have they been showing you that uh, I guess kind of translate into how Davey kind of fights? Because you mentioned the explosiveness and the wrestling. I mean, I feel like the way uh, Bobby Lee translates his striking and his grappling together is almost a perfect match in the uh, 
how Davey fights. I I worded that wrong, but you know what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, they've just been showing me lots of different stuff, like uh, quick bursts, stuff like that. Lots of spinning, you know, spinning stuff, like unorthodox and stuff like that. So, and uh, just been grinding. So, yeah, I mean, I'm ready to go, you know. Oh, yeah. Now, I, I guess this, I don't know. Uh, what kind of a fight are you expecting between you and Davey? Uh, I mean, it's been said, and me and TJ have discussed it before, uh, usually when you get two guys that are grapplers, they go out there and strike, or you never know exactly what you're going to get. But this is one of those fights where I, I kind of am on the same uh, page as TJ, where like I, I feel like it's going to be won or lost in the scrambles. How do you see this fight going down? Uh, I know it's going to be a battle and it's going to be tough, you know, like you're going to have to grind for sure, like grind hard. But, uh, uh, I'm excited to go into the later rounds and stuff like that and just, you know, keep going and keep grinding. So give everyone a good show. So I got a lot of people coming from a long ways away. So, oh, uh, oh. I, I can only imagine that lose, drive from gotta, Aiken. We got to throw down. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I, I didn't hear that last part. Would you say? Oh, I'm just saying win or lose. We got to you know throw down so oh hell yeah <laughs> a town throw down little yeah. plug right there but i mean yeah i can only imagine i mean that drive from aiken down to austin that that's yeah. not a small hike so that's great to hear that you got the support coming with you and one of the things that i you know i wouldn't say it's interesting is you know obviously the x factor davy coming up from 145 pounds i mean he's not a small guy by any means but correct me if i'm wrong i, I don't think you could make 145 unless we started cutting off a limb so do you think the size plays a difference in this fight or do you think that uh you know he's he should be a 40 or should be a 55 and was just cutting a little too much no i, th I think that was you know a smart move on him like He's pretty big. He's a big 45 pounder. He's I think he's a pretty good sized 55 pounder. So yeah. no, I I'd have probably, I'd have done the same thing if I was an inch. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, I, I'm I'm just really excited for this fight, man. I oh like I wanna I wanna talk more about it, but it's all things that probably shouldn't be asked on camera. It's like it just yeah. I oh man I. I'm so excited for this fight yeah. and this matchup. Like, you guys were the first fight that I ever made a breakdown video for. And, yeah. and, like, as soon as I seen that this fight was announced, it just – I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going to yeah. Austin. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I was, too. I was pumped when Jeremy asked me. I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the fight that makes sense. I remember sitting in the – in the crowd with Damian at the LFA fights in September saying the fight that needs to be made is Noah versus Davey. Here we are two days away. I, I, Damian said it best. I can't be more excited. I, I'm a little salty that I'm not going to be at this show personally, but oh, I, damn. Damian's going to have the live feed go and believe that I need to see this fight uh, yeah. more, more than all of them. And that, that says a lot because this is a deep card. But just before we wrap it up here tonight, Noah, always want to give an open platform to thank any teammates, sponsors, anybody outside the gym that's been there for you during this long camp. And, uh, you know, the platform is yours. Uh, just all my teammates and my coach, uh, Brock Larson, and my family, all my family, my brothers, my sisters, my mom. They've all been uh, super supportive and helped me out in little ways and stuff. So all those oh, yeah. people and everyone else who uh, supports me, thank you. Man, dude, I, I can't wait to see this fight. And I... Man, I, I can't wait to see uh, what the crowd is going to look like, too. You know, I know you got a lot of supporters. And, man, this this fight is just so amazing. I can't yeah. I, I can't express that enough. Um, people watching, make sure you like the video. Get tickets. I don't think it's too late, but they will be sell selling out pretty fast. So do it now. Go online, nitrotickback.com. Uh, like this video. Subscribe to Trash Talk with Damian and TJ. Do not be a hoe. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no, thank you, man. Uh